What's up, guys? Today is March 25th. Uh, yesterday, Wednesday, or yeah, Wednesday, SBA released a press statement uh, with some good news. If you currently have an EIDL loan or you're in the queue and you're currently applying for one, as of April 6th of this year, they are raising the loan limit from six months of working capital with a loan cap of $150,000 to 24 months of working capital with the loan cap of $500,000, half a million dollars. So that's great news. Um, I know a lot of small business owners were complaining, saying this is not enough. Um, the new SBA administrator, her name is Isabel Guzman, said, we are here to help. And I quote, we are here to help our small businesses. That is why I'm proud to more than triple the amount of funding they can access. Now, uh, just a side note here. Reason why part of this took so long to initiate was that Isabel Guzman wasn't sworn in until I believe a week ago or two weeks ago, maybe. So um, there was no one really running the SBA. So they had no guidance or decision making this decision maker, I guess. Uh, a lot of time when Congress writes these these laws, they kind of give, the, they do give the SBA discretion how to use them and interpret them. So um, that's part of why it took so long to get the loan cap removed, uh, which I know it's kind of ridiculous. I mean, this loan's been around since last year, um, this program, I should say. Um, if you already have a loan, you do not need to request an increase. The SBA will send you an email directly to you with detailed information how to request a loan increase. Remember, the email is going to come from S make sure the email comes from sba.gov, no, no one else. Uh, expect those emails to go out within the next few days. So uh, just be on the lookout in your inbox, you know, check your spam. Again, make sure it comes from sba.gov. Uh, for those of you that are still waiting for approval of the EIDL loan, uh, you will automatically be considered for a new loan cap of $500,000. And as a quick reminder, if you don't know what the EIDL program is, it is a program for small businesses. It is a loan, all right, meaning you have to pay it back. Um, some of the here's the terms basically of the loan. It's a 30-year loan at 3.75% interest rate. Unless you're a nonprofit, you only pay 2.75% interest rate. There is no prepayment penalty fees. And uh, this came out last week, I believe. If you received a loan in 2020 your first payment can be deferred for 24 months. Uh, loans this year uh, can be deferred for 18 months. However, remember the interest still accrues um, while you're waiting to pay that first uh, payment. Uh, I'll put a link down below to the EIDL program, which you can actually apply. Um, I don't think it's gonna hurt you to apply now because I think anyone that applies now currently, um, once April 6 hits, which is basically what well, a week and a half or so um you're gonna be automatically uh looked at for five hundred thousand dollars so uh again um i'll just go ahead and apply if, if you need the capital uh do run a credit check this is different than, than the ppp program keep that in mind although credit score is not the only thing they're looking for i believe loans over fifty thousand i could be in incorrect it's either fifty or maybe twenty five thousand dollars do require some type of collateral so keep that in mind as well Again, I'll pull a link down below. And if you're new to the channel or you find this content useful, uh, hit the like button. I appreciate it much. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Bring you content like this every single week from news for small businesses to stimulus news to crypto news to investment news. And if you're looking to invest, or I should say, let me start off with, if you need renter's insurance, because you maybe you work from home or you have a home office or both, uh, link down below Lemonade. They provide that service, so pretty affordable rates and pretty good policy plans as well. Also, there are some links down if you're interested in buying stock and or crypto. Thanks for watching, guys. Next time, peace.